The first thing I'm going to do during this video is start opening my military chests. The recent update allowed me to start upgrading with the items you get from these chests, so let's go ahead and open some of these. This might take a bit of time. I think it might be better just to press the skip button, to be honest. There we go. That's a lot better than open again and just skip. So you can see all the items I'm getting from this. Oh, that looks quite interesting. A rare material. There we go. Skip through this. Oh, there's a green one there. So most of the items are the common ones. And occasionally you get something a bit rarer by the looks of it. There we go, for example here, Pirate King Rare. I would assume as the chest levels up, the items will get better. There's a purple one here, nice. That's pretty good. Should not take me too much longer to finish opening all these. Oh, look at that, three blue and two green now. That's at level three. Two purples now, now we're at level four. So this should start getting a lot better from here. Well, with a bit of luck anyway. So you do want to open as many of these chests as possible to level them up. I think I'm pretty much done. I've only got seven left, so I'm just gonna open these. Oh, it skipped it, right. Anyway, that's that done. Let's see what I can upgrade. So let's start with the spectral drake you can see here. Oh, so I need to use a bit of gold by the looks of it. Right, so that's done already. Not really sure what all of this is going to do yet. But I can upgrade like that. So I'll go through and do all of this, then see what I have to play with afterwards. I'm not going to show you all of this. It's going to take a bit of time. All right, I think I'm done with that. So it does look a little bit complicated. This is pretty straightforward. You can see here, damage 2.3% bonus. The other one here though, Regan and Duration. I'm not 100% sure what that does, even after reading the help on the battle gear here. The weapon's obvious, increases total damage. Cloak grants ethereal form when fully charged. Let's you phase through smaller bullets and aliens, so that would be something I need to test out at a later date, I think. So for now, I'm done with upgrading here. And once I've done a bit more to this, I'll probably come back to it in a future video. Right, so there were some other changes in the recent update. There's one change I really don't like, and it's to this wheel here. The wheel is now based on your VIP level, and since I'm level zero, well, you can see here the rewards from the wheel are just junk basically now the item in the bottom left you can see between the two gold items that's a random ship by the looks of it the rest of the stuff here though is pretty much just junk i don't want to spend money on this game just to level up the wheels so it will be a feature i completely skip not impressed with this really features in the game like this shouldn't be based on your VIP level. Something like the chests, for example, they level up when you open them. But no, I don't think this was a very good thing to do to the game, if I'm being honest. There is also a boss hunter event up currently. There's nothing I need from this event, unfortunately. Now, if you play PvP, you will get this done pretty quickly anyway. If you want a faster way of doing this though, you can just go to boss mode. The harder bosses will get you more of the medals. There's a couple of easier ones higher up as well. A really good example of this is boss number 22. Considering where this is in the game, it's actually really easy. So I'll do this on easy difficulty quickly. This is actually easier than quite a few of the bosses before it as well. Now, you can probably see in the top right corner, but that's something to do with the battle gear that I upgraded as well. I'll be interested to see a bit more about what that does. I think you need full power though. 
This boss is almost defeated already. None of the attacks were especially dangerous. As you saw here. There we go, that's that done. Another way of getting this event done quickly is just play the campaign. Or you can play Endless as well, that gives bosses. There's tons and tons of options here. You can scroll down to one of the easier campaigns and play it on hard or crazy difficulty. That's also a good way of getting the crystals you can see here from the bosses. Since it's a lot easier to defeat the bosses in campaign than it is in boss mode. That gives you a few ideas for the event anyway. Most players shouldn't have any real problems completing that. So I think the best way to test out the cloak feature is to go into something like Endless. From what I have read, you collect power-ups then once you have the bar at the top of the screen full you get invincibility for a few seconds. Since I should get a lot of power-ups in Endless, I think this is a good mode to test this out. I will select, let's go with Terminator for this. Here we go, let's try it anyway. You can see a bar at the top of the screen. When you pick up power-ups, that fills up. When it's full, it should, with a bit of luck, give me invincibility for a few seconds. Now I need to rank up Spectral Drake, so it makes sense that I pick this up. Might take a bit of time to fill up though, and the invincibility is very short by the sounds of it. I'll see what happens though, when it's full. Might take a bit of time, hopefully not too long though. Here we go, we're almost, almost there already. I'm going to stay away from the super time because that gives me invincibility as well with the wings I have equipped. Right, there we go. A couple more power-ups. I should only need one more, I would have thought. Then I could try going up the screen and see if any of the enemies can damage me for the second or so that the shield is active for. You don't get very long. Have to be a bit careful here as well that I don't touch an enemy while the evolve skill is active as that may influence it. While the evolve skill is active, you are invincible. So I'll dodge that power up and try and get the timing right on the next one so there's no evolve skill active if that makes sense hopefully it does other words now so yeah it's not quite full yet i was lucky i didn't take a hit there that was a bit stupid to try and rush up the screen without the bar full determined to test this out though i'll wait for the next power up i think boss coming up here so in all fairness it's not exactly going to be a major feature it'll be luck if you dodge an attack if I'm being honest rather than intentionally going into the enemies to try and not take a hit I'll dodge that again evolve is about to activate There you go, so let's collect that power up, then try and run into the enemies on the next wave. Yeah, you can see there, I didn't take a hit. I was sort of invincible, well, completely invincible for about two seconds. Then the bar is now empty. So you got to see what that does. The ship goes sort of invisible as well during that period. There we go. And there we go, that's the end of this video. I hope you found that interesting. This was basically a video just to test out a new feature, do a bit of upgrading. This is what my combat power currently looks like. 3.3 .3 now. It's gone up slightly from the battle gear. As with in my previous video, still need those eight skins at the end to complete my skin collection. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. I've included a previous video on the screen. Check that out if you want to do so. You can also subscribe from here if you want to. 
and thanks for watching.